Hey everybody, it's Jim from Cigar, Cigar, Cigars, and today is kind of a special day. I have come up with an invention that I want to talk to you about today, and I'm sure you're familiar with the Wheel of Flavor. You've seen these before. This is a common uh, thing. There's quite a few of those floating around. Well, I looked at that, and, and that certainly helps, I and mean, we'll talk more about that. But I decided we needed to expand and have a wider breadth of flavors available. So I came up with Jim's Wheel of Flavor. So if we look at Jim's Wheel of Flavor, I'm going to bring it back a little so I can see it. We have uh, tennis balls. Tennis balls is an interesting flavor. Expired cheese, old Play-Doh, dog breath, latex paint, your ex's armpit, and broken bathroom fan. We know, we know what kind of smell that is. And of course, good cigar. So the idea of this is you use Jim's wheel of flavor and you sort out the bad the bad cigars and if you're and if it turns out you're smoking a good cigar you go to the regular one very interesting invention I think but also you can layer these so instead of having just these flavors available we have seven times that many because we can we can layer these so let's just say for example uh, we, we have expired cheese uh, the cigar that tastes like expired cheese, but we want to we, we, we say well, let's let's layer that and it's a, an expired cheese tasting cigar that's been uh, Covered in walnuts, so you can do things like that latex paint What if what if we drop some flowers in latex paint so we can mix and match our flavors and come up with exactly the right flavor so Jim's wheel of flavor keep that in mind and we'll use that today when I, when we're we're smoking a cigar that kind of def, defies being labeled as a flavor, and that is a Cuba Cuba and a Tuba Tuba. So it's a Cuba Deluxe acid, Cuba Deluxe, and everybody's familiar with probably with these cigars. It's a it's a really a good cigar for a starting smoker. I once gave interesting. I had a friend of mine who was starting to smoke, and I gave him a package of, of three or four cigars. One of them was a um, a uh, Epi Two from Cuba, which is a very uh, Hoyo Monterey cigar, very highly rated, a classic robusto cigar. And I gave him one of these, and I gave him, I think, a, a Cohiba, a mild Cohiba. And guess which one he called me to thank, thank me for, was, was the acid Cuba Cuba. So, you never know, when you're a beginning smoker, you know, some, you know, sometimes this is a good thing. And, I mean, I enjoy one once in a while. The first thing you notice, of course, and with any of these acid cigars, is the um, the wrapper is highly flavored, especially at the tip. So you get that sweet flavor, and um, nobody really defines what a Cuba Cuba is. We can look at our flavor wheel and try to figure it out, but it's going to be a tough one. Let's take a look. I I, I get a little berries. I get a little herb, maybe a clove in there, and I think that's 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 about it. Um, maybe some maybe some uh, some sweet fruit or a nut, something like that. So that's how we can use the wheel of flavor. But I don't know if you ever smoked one of these, but it, it sort of does defy definition. Um, if you've ever smoked a Tatiana has a groovy blue they call it CAO has one that's called moon trance Those are very similar to to this flavor. It's a it's a popular uh, Popular flavor, so I'm gonna enjoy this for a little while come back, and I will see you in a, in a few minutes Hey everybody, I'm back And today I'm smoking the acid Cuba Cuba deluxe and I am pairing it with one of my favorite drinks, which is Diet Dr. Pepper. Really a good a good match for, for this particular cigar. A good, a good pairing. If you've smoked a Cuba Cuba, which many of us have back in the days when we were first starting to smoke, or once in a while if you want to break and, and smoke something really mild, 
but you know this is very sweet it's sweet on the tongue the taste is pretty sweet the infusion is pretty sweet so it's it's so good good to match it with something that's got a little a little sweetness to it as well um, rating this cigar is difficult you know we all, we all want to smoke opus X's and, and and things like that but once in a while we, we we revert to where where we started when we uh, put it mildly didn't didn't know any better so um, this is a good cigar it's a Drew Estate manufactured cigar burns evenly the ash is amazingly white it, it is strikingly white um, so good construction good draw everything about the cigar is is it is great um, and if you want a mild cigar or you know a new smoker and you want to introduce them and kind of get them into things gradually this is a nice cigar there's no question about it so let's not look down too much on on cigars like this we we have a very wide umbrella in the cigar smoking world lots of different things to enjoy so anyway I'm gonna speak of enjoying I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this I'm gonna give this um, I'm gonna give this an 8.5 in terms of, of of cigar great construction great draw great burn but the flavor is you know pretty mild which which leaves a little bit to be desired so anyway that's it for today from cigar cigar cigars i will see you next time